Happy Christmas, you lovely food tubers. Mr. Oliver here in a beautifully festive fashion. We're gonna do a beautiful dish. Sticky, delicious beef short ribs with mashed potato, winter slaw. The flavor is maximum. This is a showstopper. So I've got two beef short ribs right here. You know, it's from the forequarter uh, of the beef. That's the bone marrow. That's kind of like the most incredible, intense sort of stock cube ever. So get your ribs into a pan, season it with some salt and a really generous seasoning of pepper. A little bit of olive oil just to get it going. This cut of meat is tough, so you need to rehydrate the tendons so they just break up and become delicious and sticky. So what I want to do is have a closed environment. So I'm going to get a nice long sheet of tin foil, double wrap, and then we're going to whack this in the oven for about eight hours until nice and tender at 100 degrees Celsius. I'll see you in eight hours. Oh, that eight hours went quick and I'm still in this jumper. Check this out. The meat has kind of shrunk back off the bones. I feel like this is a meal from the Flintstones. Wilma! It's very cool. You've got the most incredible like roast beef juice. It tastes amazing. Pour that into a little cup here. Can you see it separating? You know, we don't want this fat in our story, but we want to save that fat for a rainy day. A little will go a long way flavor-wise. So this, in the fridge, super important tip. Then we got the lovely stock, and we're going to go back into our tray. So get your pan on full whack. Go in with about 180 milliliters of ketchup, 150 mils of dark stout, four teaspoons of mustard, four teaspoons of malt vinegar, four tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. And last but not least, golden syrup, four teaspoons of that. Oh yes. And we're just gonna boil this up until it's a lovely, sticky, glazy, British barbecue sauce. So I'm pretty happy with that. So we'll turn that heat off. Put it over the top and in and around. All I need to do now is pop this back in the oven. Keep it at the same temperature, 100 degrees. 20 minutes to 40 minutes is fine. Next up, let's do a beautiful winter coleslaw. But if you'll forgive me, next time you'll see me, I won't have a jumper because I'm really, really hot. Woo! Okay, that's a little bit cooler. Thank the Lord for that. Okay, so hot pan. Uh, I've got some caraway seeds here. Just a nice heap teaspoon and just toast them up. Get them a little bit smoky. I want two heaped tablespoons of mayo going into a bowl, about one heaped tablespoon or two of yogurt, a heaped teaspoon of English mustard, season it lightly, and I'm just going to finely chop some herbs. I'm using dill because I just love it. And then one and a half tablespoons of white wine vinegar. We want it to be nicely acidic. Mix that up. These caraway seeds would just add a sort of surprise and toastiness into this dressing. So look, let's have a little taste. Mmm. Oh, it's good. A little tip. Take some pickled onions and a little bit of the vinegar just to tweak that acidity so it's sharp and fresh. Finely chop those pickled onions. Over here I've got lovely seasonal veg, guys. Use anything that you're passionate about. So I've got some nice yellow beetroots here. Finely slice these up. Then I've got white cabbage. I'm just gonna add it. I've got some kales, so, so good for you. So let's get that in there. It looks like a lot of volume, but it will sink. Then we've got some lovely carrots here. Beet leaves. So I'm gonna get all of this into here now. There's no polite way to do it. Just move it around, sort of squeeze it. And you can see this makes quite a lot. Let's serve this beautiful food up. If people come around your house for a dinner party and you've got this beautiful short rib dish, I honestly think they're going to go wild for this dish. It's literally like cutting through butter. Look how tender that is. It's just melt in your mouth. Amazing. I'm serving it with regular mashed potato, a little bit of nutmeg and butter. Get some of that lovely winter slaw for that gorgeous tender short rib to go on top. So there you go. Look at that. So, so good. Guys, if you want more inspiration, go to jamieoliver.com where there's thousands and thousands of beautiful recipes waiting for you. And keep those comments coming in the comments box below. And if you haven't subscribed, 
press that magic button. Subscribe because it's free. Bye.